Hey everyone, welcome back to the Double D Ranch here in Northern Michigan. It is a freezing, chilly day. It is about 10 degrees. Last night it was, I think, negative six, but we can't get let the cold get us down. Uh, we have lots to do here on the ranch. All the girls and boys need their hooves trimmed. They need their blood drawn for their yearly testing, and they need copper. So I figured since I'm gonna have them all on the stand, I would introduce them all to you. So let's go get that done. Okay, first up is Willow, our fifth generation mini Nubian. When I had her up on the stand, I forgot to press record, so we never got any video of her. This girl, she produces about a half a gallon a day and when milking. Um, she is daughter to Maisie, and Maisie's mother is one of the top milkers in the United States. And this girl, don't tell the others, but is one of our favorites. Um, she's super sweet, has a funny personality, and just an overall great goat. She was bred to Percy, and Percy is pulled, um, so she has the possibility of having pulled babies, which means naturally hornless. Um, so let's get to the next one. Okay, so this is Nova. She goes by Legend Hills Nova. She's from Ohio. Um, she's our only standard bred Nubian. Her mother was a grand champion. No, I'm sorry. Her grandmother was grand champion in Ohio. Um, she's the sweetest girl out of all of them. She just is happy to be at your feet, sleeping, whatever. Um, that's really why we keep her around is because we love her so much. Um, we wouldn't have a standard because it's just we all have mini. So but we fell in love with her, so she stayed. She was bred to Charlie, and she will have first generation mini Nubians. She's a lot better this year, so hopefully she'll have more than one. She's always had boys. Um, hopefully she'll give us a girl this year. I'm, I'm bound uh, and determined, I guess, that she only has boys. But hopefully she proves us wrong this year. Okay, so this is Maisie May, or Green Gables Amazing Hope. She is a purebred mini Nubian, sixth generation. She came from uh, Green Gables in Wisconsin. If you don't know them, look them up. They have some amazing goats. Um, her mother is in the top 10 milkers in the United States for mini Nubians. So, we're kind of excited. We're going to put her on milk test this year, and hopefully, I'm sure she'll probably get her milk start as well. She is mother to Willow. Last year, she gave us um, a buck doe twins. They were cute. Her little doe looked just like her. I wanted to keep her, but I have a lot of these lines on the ranch, so we decided to rehome her. She is fat. She was fat before she got bread. So we'll see how many babies she really is hiding in there. She's doing March. Everyone's doing March. I think March or April. She's a sweet girl. She's the herd queen. She's sweet to us, but she lets everyone know who's lost in the pen. She's just a great girl. I'm hoping maybe to in the future get another Bred to Percy, and Percy is our cold buck, so her babies have the, may have the gene to be naturally cold. So, that will be exciting. Okay, so this is Penelope. She does not like the stand at all. She is a purebred, a sixth generation mini Nubian. She is new this year. Um, she has a great mother who sadly just passed away. Her mom at the previous owner's um, place we fell in love with. She's just crawling around like a puppy dog. So 
Now she wants one of her favorites that she had, which was bred to Char, or no, she's bred to Percy, so she has the ability to have old these. And she hates it. She's shivering and making a big deal about it. All right, so this is Alice. She's daughter of Emma. Um, she was last year's baby. She was bred this year to Percy. She is in the second generation of the Nubian. So she's going to be a little bit smaller because her mom is smaller. Um, so that's why we bred them to Charlie. Charlie's a little smaller. But I can't wait to see how this girl's udder develops because she has amazing teeth. Like, straight out. You can see them dying already. So. She's not too sure of the milk scan. She keeps giving me lip. But the only one on our ranch right now that has our herd name. Her name is Royal D. Lady Alice. She is blue eyed and black. And Charlie is blue eyed too, so she should have some blue eyed babies. All right, so it was getting a little warm in here. We have this heater right here, one of those, what is it, patio heaters? A wood stove going. So even though it's 10 outside, it's nice and toasty in here. And I like my new shirt. It's just a girl who loves goats with a nice little movie and board on it. I made it. I'll have them for sale at my Etsy shop, Outlandish Designs. And this is Emma. She is Alice's mom. She's also Willow's daughter and Maisie's granddaughter. She's little because her dad is a Nigerian dwarf. She's a first generation mini Nubian. She produces awesome kids. We've kept every single one of them. I'm excited to get this girl on milk this this year and see how she does. Okay, so this is, this is Luna. She was one of last year's kids that we purchased. Um, she is an F3, so a third generation mini Nubian. Her actually full name is Luna Bella, beautiful moon. And actually her mom was kind of similar colors and her name was Sunny. Um, so it's kind of cool here. We, um, her mom produces a lot of milk, but we also fell in love with this girl's colors. Um, colors actually shouldn't be one of the things that you go by when you pick a goat, but it's just kind of a cherry on top of the Sunday. So she was like nothing we've had before, and I can't wait to see what her summer coat looks like because her she's got her nice fluffy dingy no! winter coat right now, and she's kind of like doing the Bambi on ice thing right now. She's not very happy on the stand. Whoa, she's too small for the stand. And uh, yeah, so we're gonna get this girl's hoofs done and get her back in there. Okay, last but not least, this is Sweet Caroline. I was so excited to get her last spring. Uh, she comes from great milking lines. Um, she's a sweet girl, just like her name says. Her mother is beautiful has a great udder, produces a lot of milk. So I can't wait to see what she does for us. Um, she's a purebred, sixth generation mini Nubian. Um, and she was bred to Charlie. So she should have some seventh generation mini Nubian babies. If you haven't already, um, please go like and subscribe our channel. It would help out the ranch greatly. Look forward to our next video. Bye.